Hi, Mark here. Now, this is probably going to be the briefest video I do. I'm setting it up on the front side, which means I'll probably blow it, but I don't think so. Yeah, you know, just one product to talk about. These are the new needles, rigging needles from Toro Tamer. You know, they are made to do the inline rigging, uh, making wind-ons, doing anything you need to do with hollow braid, including connecting hollow to solid or, ho or hollow to hollow braid. What's unique about the needles that are offered from Toro Tamer is the polishing and the points. Um, you know, we've been on the forefront of inline rigging since really this, um, well, since we began, you know, about 15 years now. Uh, initially, you know, all the needles were supplied, you know, for the most part, you know, in the U.S. anyway, from a company called Burns Outfitters. Burns went out of business, you know, Smitty, the maker of the Smitty rod belts, took over from there, and the needle sets were only offered in sets. You know, they had loops, they had kind of a, a version of a, of a latch needle that wasn't very useful, you know, in, in my opinion anyway, and probably most others. You know, but those needles were only available in kits from those two suppliers. Back, oh, maybe five or six years ago, you know, Lanny Daho came on the scene and did a wonderful job, you know, and he still does. You know, Lanny's needles you know, were, I think, a step above where the previous generation needles were. Uh, he also, through the help, I believe it was from Smitty, uh, with a design on a reverse latch needle, you know, and he came into market with the reverse latch, which in many respects takes over from the loop needles. And we'll talk about specific application for these three types of needles that are on the market now. Um, and Lanny also offered needles you know, for sale individually. You know, that was a problem you know, preceding Daho you know, because if a person damaged a needle or had a problem with one, they were kind of forced to get a whole set. And that is economically not very you know, sharp. You know, those needle sets were you know, minimal, minimal kits, really. They didn't go down that far in test or anything else, but they were at least a $100 uh, type of item. You know, Lanny came to the market, increased the, the range of the needles that were offered, you know, and it was a big improvement. What's different you know, with the Toro Tamer product? You know, you got to get the point. You know, there, there are a couple of approaches to this, and, and Daho did go through some changes in this respect too, from his initial needles to the ones that came later. You know, if initially they were two-pointed, uh, and an issue with, with a, a needle that's too pointy is that you know, it, it tends to you know, poke out of the braid, especially the 12-strand stuff and, and the harder-to-rig you know, braids that were on the market. Now, differentiation with the Toro Tamer product, our points, uh, Toro Tamer's points, are in fact polished. Uh, and because they're polished, they're a lot smoother going into the braid. They, there is a more pronounced point on the needles as well. And the reason for that is, well, twofold. You know, it's easier to get into the skinnier lines if you have a little bit more of a point, still blunted at the end, but more of a pronounced point. You know, it's elongated. Uh, this, this becomes very helpful, especially with some of the colored braids from other manufacturers than Toro Tamer that will use a, a paint-based, I'm not sure if it's a wax-based or what exactly the stuff is, but typically the colored lines for hollow core, you, you wind up getting into clumps of paint you know, in that inner core and it makes rigging the stuff kind of, how do you say it nicely, a pain in the butt. Uh, so having a more pronounced point will help slide through and, and move that obstacle out of the way you know, on the inline rigging. The only downside with a more pronounced point is that you can poke your way through those strands you know, and, and come out of the braid. No big deal. You just back up and go back through. You know, it, but they do make the rigging itself easier. Now, three different types of needles uh, are available. This is a full kit uh, from Toro Tamer. They make basically a light and medium kit, um, uh, a heavy kit, uh, and the full kit. Um, needles have a certain inside diameter, the threading needles. Now, a threading needle is simply a needle with a point. It's hollow on one end, which you really can't see very well, but it is hollow. Um, and then, you know, that's what's used to stick your leader inside one end. It goes into the hollow braid. 
uh, and then you can go ahead and do your inline rig or make your wind ons or whatever whatever you're trying to do. Um, that's one type of needle. The other is a loop needle. A loop needle basically uh, has a small thin piece of wire at the end. I'm not sure if that can be focused in with a camera or not, but there is a loop there. And that was is used it was used in the past for bringing, say, a solid or a hollow into another line. Um, increasingly, this, is, this needle is only being used to open up braid. If it's hard to rig, hard to get your needle and your leader through, you'll go through with a loop first, that'll open it up, and now you can go through with your threading needle. The other needle, you know, let's see if I can get a little bigger diameter one here in my hands. It might make it easier to see. Yeah, this might help is a reverse latch needle. And now a ver reverse latch, you'll see in the still picture that I'll put up here in a second, but a reverse latch has a little on the end, again, you know, it's pointed obviously on one side for going to the braid, but the other side, there is a little latch that opens and closes. You know, and so you can bring the braid into that latch, close it up, and now go into your braid. This pretty much has replaced, in my use, and I think for a lot of other guys, replaced the loop needle um, for, for most rigging applications where we're trying to put you know, a solid into a hollow, a hollow into a hollow, making up your loop needles, or making up, excuse me, making up your loops for your wind-on leaders, uh, or even rigging up an assist hook. Um, the reverse latch is a real useful tool. Um, a little more complicated to manufacture, obviously, uh, but they're wonderful to have. The only problem with a reverse latch is, given the way that latch works, if you happen to go backwards, this can open up and if that happens, it's going to go between the weaves, between the strands of your braid and create a problem that you may have to cut out uh, you know, and then start all over again. We've tried to make this a little bit stiffer on the, the Toro Tamer needles are a wee bit stiffer than, than what's on the market currently. And over time, I'd love to see that even get harder to open uh, because it would prevent that one problem from backing up. But the more you use these, the less apt you are to do that. Uh, and it's, it's a rare event. As long as you go in and you keep on going in one direction, you're not going to have any issue that way. And the benefits far outweigh you know, any short-term issue uh, as far as that needle goes. Um, needles and diameters. On your threading needles, you know, these are available, made in, in several different, you know, uh, sizes uh, that will range from, with Toro Tamer, listing at 20 pound up to 200 pound. Now here's the reality. All leaders aren't of the same diameter. So as a consequence, while you may have a needle that's nominally rated at 20 pound, it will not accommodate all 20 pound lines because all 20 pound lines aren't exactly the same. An IGFA line is skinnier than your basic regular you know, line. Uh, and as a consequence, it's best to have more than one needle in your arsenal. Um, so a 20 pound needle is good for up to 20 pounds, depending upon the manufacturer. It may take a 30 pound needle to work with some 20 pound lines. So don't lock yourself in to thinking, well, I, I have to have my, you know, a needle just for the size line I'm working with. It doesn't work that way. You want to own a range. Toro Tamer's pricing uh, is, is pretty user friendly in that respect. The kits are, in my opinion, far more aggressively priced than are the individual needles. They're trying to encourage you to buy a kit. With a kit, you can cover a wider range of tests. And as you get into this stuff, you're going to find that you're going to be using it a lot more than what maybe your original plan was. You know, when I got into this myself, you know, I started out just thinking I was going to use it on my heavier cow rigs. Well, at this point, I'm taking it all the way down to 30 pound, uh, and you know, I'll do a straight inline rig for 20 and 30 pound you know, leader typically. But I'll be making wind ons uh, from at least 40 on up. Um, they're just darn convenient to use in many applications. So that's a quick pitch on. The new needles from Toro Tamer, great product, excellent value, you know, certainly market leading in terms of the pricing. And with the points, it's a nice polished point. It works really, really well. Nice product, nice price. Give them a try when you get the chance. Thank you for watching. I think I kept the time low. Good deal. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye.